We finished with the second lesson. Actually, there are a couple of Dhatu Rupani here, uh, which we have not looked at. So uh, um, it is just giving you the um, parsing, that is what Prayoga it is in, whether it is in Kartari Prayoga or Karmani Prayoga. Uh, you can use this as an exercise to work on how to form sentences at this level. Uh, Kartari Karmani switch, probably they don't do it in, until the paper two uh, Raghumsha paper, you will have that. I think you don't have it in uh, this paper. Uh, but it will be a good exercise to work on that. Like, for example, Nadi Pravahati Nadia Prohyate Iti. You can try to work with the Karmani and Kartari, changing this and that. So, Aham Jeevami, Maya Jeevyate. Um, krishakaha utpadayati dhanyan utpadayati krishakai krishakai akena uh, dhanyani utpadyante uh, in that manner you can try to work with these verbs even though there are examples these verbs have only been taken from the lesson you can try to make your own sentences so it will help improve okay so we can move on to the third lesson triti of pataha um, someone can start. Gita Modi, do you want to start? Okay, I'll try. Um, Asmakam bhar, Bharati Sahiti Shima Drama in a Sia Stanam Mahataram iti survey Sanskrit Agnya Jananti. Hmm. So uh, here it says, um, all Sanskrit, knowers of Sanskrit, right, or knowledgeable in Sanskrit are mm -hmm. aware that in our country, um, in our uh, country's literature, uh, mm -hmm. Srimad Ramayanam has a very exceedingly, or say very, um, it's a highly regarded or exceedingly great, something like that. Ah, so, Mahattaram Ramayanasya Sthanam, the position of Srimad Ramayana is uh, uh, greater than anything else. So yes. it has a very great position with respect to Bharatiya Sahityam, with respect to the Indian literature. Ah, iti, yeah, yeah. Uh, iti sarve all the knowers of Sanskrit. Samskritam jananti iti samskrita gnyaha. Ah. Samskrita gnyaha jananti they know. Yeah, so Bharati, the mah Mahataram uh, is in comparison in uh, superlative to the bar in compared to all sahitya bar yes bar. Yeah, yeah yeah it's yeah, more yeah. comparative uh, mahattamam niti kimartham nauktam iti chet tatra mahabharatam api vidyate iti karanat it has not been given the superlative position because mm. both uh, itihasam have a, both itihasas have a little um, they have a good position as far as the literature goes Mm. Is it? Yeah. I thought Ramayana was held even above uh, Bhagavatam. And... No, it depends on, uh, it's a very Who individualistic is... thing. Bhagavatam is Puranam. So Bhagavatam yeah. does that not even pur... come in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, uh, Mahabharatam it... is an Itihasa. When you yeah. discuss about Sahityam or literature, uh, like for example in Dhanyaloka, where there is a discussion about the prominent rasa, he discusses about the prominent rasa in Ramayanam and Mahabharatam and comes to the conclusion that Ramayanam has Karuna rasa and Mahabharatam has Shanta rasa. So these two have a very great position in the literature when you analyze. You know? mm. Yeah. So is it like a shared first place? Two, two first That's places. why Mahattaram is Yuktam. <laughs> no, Mahattamam is Yuktam. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ramayanam Adi Kavyam Iti Tat Katta Adi Kavi Adi Kavihi Iti Cha Prasiddham. So mm. Ramayana is known as the Adi Kavya and the author, that is uh, the person who wrote it, is known as Adi Kavi, uh, well known as the Adi Kavi. Yeah, Prasiddham. the first poet and the first, first poem. And mm. the first poem. Yeah. So when you say first, because it says Adi, you you interpret it as first or yes. Okay. okay. Adi Kavyam is it is the first poetry yeah, that, is, that yeah. came. Yeah, Adi is foremost or the first. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Atrayam shloka. So here's a shloka. Veda vedhe pare pumsi jate dasharatatmaje vedha prachetasadat. 
sadasit sakshad ramayanatmana Hmm. Okay. This shloka is being described in this paragraph here, but I'll first explain what the shloka is, and then you will understand the paragraph much better. Okay. So Veda Vedya Pare Pumsi Dasharathat Maje Jate Sati. It the first line is in uh, Sati Saptami here. So Veda Vedya Veda Ireva Vedya Ha Yaha. One who is understood Vedya, uh, Vedum Yogya, one who is fit to be understood, one who is worthy of being understood only by the Vedas. He cannot be understand, understood by anybody else. Para, pare Pumsi. Pare Pumsi is Paraha Puman. Yaha um, uh, Purnaha Purushottamaha Asti Parabrahma Swarupaha Saha Veda Vedya Vartate. So the ultimate supreme Lord, supreme reality is understood only through the Vedas. When that Brahma Swarupam was born as Dasharathasya Atmajaha, when he was born as Dasharatha's son, Atma, Atmanaha Jayate Iti Atmajaha, one who is born from himself. So it is the son. Dasharathasya Atmajaha, Dasharathasya Putraha. So Dasharathasya Putratva Rupena Yadasaha uh, Jataha, when he was born, Jate Sati. What happened to Ramayanam? His story is actually Vedaha, Vedam itself, Pracheta Sat from Valmiki, Sakshat. In true, it was Ramayana Atmana Asit. Vedam came out of Valmiki in the form of Ramayana. Because it deals with the uh, Paramapurusha, deals with Parabrahma Swarupa. So, the Ramayana itself is considered as Vedam that came out in the form of it. Mm. Is that clear? Mm. That means we if we study Veda, we can also know, or only Vedas only know uh, him. Even Vedas cannot understand him. <laughs> uh, oh. That's what is given in the uh, in if you look at Yadav Abhidayam. Uh, he says, Nigamaihi api ekaika guna prante nigamaha nigama vandinaha shrantaha. To explain even one gunam of Paramatma Swarupam, the Vedas have become very tired. They are unable to explain the end, up to the end, even one guna of Paramatma. So we try to approach. Uh, uh, the Paramatma Swarupam through the Vedas because the Vedas are the Shruti Pramanam which try to tell us about the uh, 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 Parabrahma Swarupam. He is in fact beyond uh, uh, Saha Avang Manasa Gocharaha. He is beyond the range of speech and mind. Uh, Vedas can go. Vedas are also personification here. So, uh, huh. uh, you don't think of like, way, if we read the Vedas, we will understand. Asma bihi tatha paditavyam yatha saha, he reveals himself to us. But we don't read the Vedas in that manner. I also read Vedas. There are other people who are huh. reciting Vedas continuously. Uh, there are somebody who read it as, a, as an academic thing also. It, that is not the criteria. Enough here. to know him. Mm, that's not enough. But if you have to know him, then it is only through the Vedas that somehow you can know. And that too, Vedante Eva, Upanishad Dwara. Uh, the, the, there you can try. I mean, Karma Kanda Dwara api, Gnatum Shakyate Eva, because there is Purusha Suktam and all that, that through which you know him. Uh, but uh, Upanishad also takes you closer to describing how that uh, Atma Swarupam is. Hmm. Atra Veda hmm. ityapi uh, personified. Kila. Uh, only person. Veda can understand so uh, because it's beyond the uh, work and manas. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Veda itself has been revealed by him. Hmm. Um, na, um, Veda Jagnire Samani Jagnire Tasmat. Hmm. Yeah. The richest Samani Jagnire uh, hmm. Yajugumshi hmm. in Purusha Sutam. No? Hmm. 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 Yeah. Jagnire Tasmat. All of these have come from him. That's why we try to understand through the Vedas 
try to understand him he hmm. has created them but still hmm. there is only one limit for us so the so that means even the vedas doesn't fully describe him yeah completely hmm. no <laughs> but he shows that to arjuna though yeah, the ஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஃபார் கில்லிங் நார் ஆர் யூ கில்லிங் இட் யூ ஆர் ஜஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் யூ புட் அன் ஏரோ தி அதர் பர்சன் இஸ் நாட் டைங் தி ஆத்மா இஸ் பியாண்ட் த ஷரீரம் ஹன்யத்தே ஹன்யமானே ஷரீரே அட்ஸ் வாட் ஹி வாண்டட் டு ஷோ தட் பிராச்சேதஸ் இஸ் வால்மீகி ஸோ பிராச்சேதசாத் வால்மீகேஹே how do we come to that so he uh, gives the vyutpatti for that in this paragraph he starts off with that ha so prachitah from prachitah varunah va from prachetah varunah oh sorry prachetah varunah tasya apatya puman prachet prachetas so that's how hmm. he becomes to be prachetas yes so he Varun. is an amsham of varuna So, Prachetaha is a Sakaranta Shabda, like Chandramaha, Vedhaha, iti Prachetaha, Prachetasa, Prachetasaha, iti Varunasya uh, Pariyayavachi Shabda. So, Tasya Apatyam Puman Prachetasaha. Prachetasaha becomes an Akaranta uh, Pullingaha. So, prache, Prachetasaha is Valmiki. Hmm. But Valmiki, he, he, he is... Uh, um, வர்ணாசிரமாதிக்கம் நாஸ்தி மகரிஷி ராமாயணிய கவி ஆசித் Hmm. so whether he is varuna varuna's putra or uh, of that lineage uh, maharishi um um uh, a, a sage who was either varuna's son or born in that vamsha, vamsha became vamsha. the poet maharishi or the poet of ramayana hmm. uh, ramayana yasya sa tapasi sthitah yada uh, sorry yada sa tapasi sthitah tada tasya upari valmikam valmikam valmika valmikam abhavat hmm. so when he was in tapas um uh, over him um an uh, ant hill upari an ant hill uh, came came to be came to hmm. be uh, valmi valmi valmika sorry valmika i don't know why valmikantaritah sah mahata kalena அந்தரிதாவர்ட் oh one who is covered with the ant hill for a long time um and um nirgata and when he came out out, out of it 
ततः निर्गतः वल्मीकात निर्गतः सह आफ्टर अ लांग टाइम महता कालेन वल्मीकंतरित सह बीइंग कवर्ड बाय एन एंटिल ततः निर्गतः च व्हेन ही गॉट आउट ऑफ दैट एंटिल तस्य महर्षि वाल्मीकि इति नाम अन्वयबल सो आफ्टर ही केम आउट ही केम टू बी नोन एज वाल्मीकि हा तस्य महर्षे वाल्मीकि इति नाम द नेम वाल्मीकि फॉर दैट ऋषि became uh, anvartham anvartham is appropriate as uh, oh, uh, appropriate anvartham. to the meaning anu artham appropriate anu artham is the meaning the, the name uh, uh, of which the meaning became appropriate anvartha nama before before he came out he didn't have the name valmiki only yes. after he came out yeah, he yeah. got the name yes yes so he was called prachetasaha before and then he became known as valmikihi and the name appropriate to that meaning got stuck to him because he came out of the ant hill mm. ah. okay. veda vedya parama purusha shri man narayana yada kosar deshadipate dasharatasya putratvena shri ramavataram chakara tada वाल्मीके मुखतः वेद रामायण रूपेण निर्गत इति पूर्वोक्त श्लोक से अर्थ सो द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्स ही सेस जस्ट एस वेद यदा यदा व्हेन द वेदा स्टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ द सुप्रीम बीइंग टुक द फॉर्म ऑफ रामायण and came to be born as the son of uh, dasharatha as as that avatara happened um, mm. at the same mm. tada at the same time valmiki from valmiki came about uh, ramayana the vedas came about in the form of ramayana uh, is the meaning in the aforesaid uh, verse okay so yada when वेद वेद्य परम पुष श्रीमा नारायण नारायण हू इज दि अलटिमेट पुष परम पुष हू इज दुप्रीम बीइंग सुप्रीम एंटिटी हू इज अंडर्स्टुड बै द वेद हू इज नोन ओनली थ्रू द वेद वेद वेद्य कौसलाधिपते दशरथ से पुत्र इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द सन् ऑफ दशरथ हू इज द अधिपति हू इज द कि ऑफ कौसल देश हू इज द कि ऑफ द कंट्री कौसल रामावतारम चकार वेन श्रीमान नारायण टुक्ति अवतारम ऑफ रामा श्री रामा सो नारायण रामावतारम चकार नारायण टुक् दि अवतारम ऑफ रामा हाउ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द सन् ऑफ दशरथ ओके तदा एट दट टाइम वाल्मीके मुखत फ्रम द मौत ऑफ वाल्मीकि सो मुखत मुखा सो फ्रम द मौत ऑफ वाल्मीकि वेद खेम औट निर्गत हाउ रायण रूपेण इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रायण दिस इज द पूर्वोक्त श्लोक से पूर्व पूर्व यहाोक उत्तर तस् श्लोक से अर्थ दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दट श्लोक शंकर कूजतमेति मधुर मधुराक्षर आरोह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाकोकिल श्लोक वाकिण कर्ते ज्ञाते थ्रू दिस श्लोक वि कम टू नो दट रायण आथर ईज वाकि हिमसेफ so kujanta so, rama is original, which is the original name uh, intended by valmiki for this kavyam possibly ramayanam um because in uh, the ramayana itself when i think lavakusha come and sing it is ramasya uh, ramayanam ityeva asti you don't know i i <laughs> is in some say ramayahayana महत्मेक्स मोर सेंस 
Mm. No, but the purpose of the avatar, if you keep that as important, then Ramayanam is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> ఓకేన శ్లోకేన వాల్మీకి రేవ శ్రీ రామాయణ కర్త ఇది జ్ఞాయత సో వాల్మీకి ఇస్ ద వన్ హూ ఇస్ ద రామాయణ కర్త హూ ఇస్ ద క్రియేటర్ ఆఫ్ రామాయణ హూ ఇస్ ద ఆథర్ ఆఫ్ రామాయణ ఇది అస్మాత్ శ్లోకాత్ జ్ఞాయత వి అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ ఫ్రమ్ అనేన శ్లోకేన ఫ్రమ్ ది శ్లోక వాట్ ఇస్ ది శ్లోక సే వాల్మీకి కోకిలం వాల్మీకి హూ ఇస్ లైక్ అ కుకు అ కోయల్ వాల్మీకి కోకిలం అహం వందే ఐ uh do my namaskarams to valmiki who is like a kokila who is like a kuku city who has climbed on to the kavita shakha who has climbed on to the branch of poetry kavita shakham aruhya rama rama iti madhuram madhuraksharam madhuram kujantam valmiki who is uh, kujantam who is uh, uh, cooing or who is saying the uh, uh, madhura aksharam who is saying the sweet letters in a very sweet manner this madhuram is uh, kriya visheshanam for kujantam uh, sweetly it's like an adverb here so who is sweetly reciting the sweet aksharas madhura aksharam of rama rama iti hmm hmm What's the Alankara here? Kavita, Shakha and Valmiki Kokila. Any idea? Rupakam. Ah, Rupakam. Rupakam. Kavita Eva Shakha. Uh, so the poetry itself is the branch. Valmiki himself is the Kokilam. So it's not Eva. When you say Eva, it's called Rupaka Alankara. Okay. Okay. Hmm. మహర్షి వాల్మీకి శిష్యై సహ స్నానార్థం ఆశ్రమ సమీపే ప్రవహంతీం తమస నామ నదీం ప్రతి గచ్చన్ ఆస్త అలాంగ్ విత్ హిస్ డిసైపల్స్ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు బేద్ హీ వాజ్ గోయింగ్ టువర్డ్స్ ద రివర్ కాల్డ్ తమస విచ్ వాస్ నియర్ హిస్ ఆశ్రమ which was flowing near his ashrama so pravahantim which was flowing ashrama samipe near his ashrama so snanartham snanaya iti snanartham instead of chaturthi you can have artha there prayojanam snanam prayojanam yasya so that is the purpose for going there so snanartham you can also use snanaya ashrama samipe pravahantim tamasanam anadim prati gachan asta why is this tamasa not in dvitiya vibhakti uh, there is the nama is there uh, so correct. if we put nama we, we should put it in prathama correct if it is nama or iti tamasa iti nadim if you are not using nama or iti then you say pravahantim tamasam nadim prati gachan asta he was going towards uh, that uh, gachan asta to purvam eva asmabhi drishtam uh in uh, raja gnani cha you remember bodhayan nasta gachan nasta ityadika yeah మార్గ మధ్య కస్యచిత్ వృక్షస్య శాఖాయం ఏకం క్రౌంచ మిథునం అన్యోన్య ప్రేమానురక్తం ఆస్త ఆన్ ద వే ఇన్ సమ్ బ్రాంచ్ ఆఫ్ ట్రీ అ పేర్ ఆఫ్ క్రౌంచ బర్డ్స్ వేర్ అన్యోన్య ప్రేమానురక్తం ఆస్త వేర్ ఇన్ డీప్ వేర్ ఇన్ లవింగ్ కోర్స్ okay anyonya prema they had an uh, affection towards each other and anuraktam they were involved in that uh, uh, showing of affection okay huh. so ek huh. krauncha is a type of bird so krauncha mithunam ekam uh, uh, one pair was present asta it was present on some branch kasyachid vrikshasya shakhayam on a branch of some tree so kasya chit yeah. is actually yeah. sitting on a uh, branch of uh, some kind some tree on the way to the river correct hmm. kashit vyadah banena pumamsam krauncha pakshinam jaghana uh, a poacher um, using an arrow uh, uh, killed the male bird 
मेल क्रौन च बर्ड पुमांसम पुमा पुमांसौ पुमांस पुमांसम पुमांसौ पुंस पुंस Pumsa, pumsa. So probably it was easy for him to aim at the male bird. Is that why he killed the ma male mm. bird? Because maybe it's a bigger bird or something. No, usually the male bird is smaller than the female. In huh, animals and uh, that one. Uh, usually animals and birds, you will find that the male is smaller in size. Huh. Ama, usually. Uh, he wanted to challenge himself to see if his aim is good enough to maybe he one. wanted to hit both he probably chose this bird first and hit it and mm. before he could hit the other bird uh, valmiki gave the curse and he fell down dead oh astha okay so kaschid vyadha some hunter banena with the with one arrow or he had only one arrow in him who knows pumamsam krauncha pakshinam jaghana jaghana iti hana dhatoho litlakara pratham purusha ekavachanam correct so hanti is the latlakara ha jaghana is in we have seen this in ramakatha also hmm? ha ah hatah pakshi bhumau nipatitah the the bird that was killed fell on to the ground hmm pakshi uh, what is the antam for that pakshi nakarantaha naka nakarantaha mm, pullinga ha pakshi pakshinna shabdah pakshi pakshinau iti anadatra rasha rasha is there that's why it becomes na rasha shabyam nuna ha निपतिता तम विगत जीवम दृष्ट्वा दुखिता क्रौंची विलपती स्म सींग दट मेल बर्ड डेड मेल बर्ड द फीमेल वन बिकेम सैड एंड क्राइड विलपती स्म फॉलंबी ना अर्थ सो विगत जीवम तम दृष्ट तम पक्षिण दृष्ट इत सो विगत जीव विगत जीव यस्मा द लाइफ हेड गॉन अवे फ्रम दट बर्ड तादृश पक्षिण दृष्ट आफ्टर सीयिंग दट डेड बर्ड दुखिता बीइंग वेरी सैड द सैड क्रौंची विलपती स्म तादृशम दारुणम हृदय विदारकम दृश्यम विलोक्य महर्षिरपि शोकाकुलसन व्याधम एवं शशाप सीइंग दट काइंड ऑफ अ पिटीएबल सीन हां दारुणम इति इट्स नॉट पिटीएबल दीनम इज मोर पिटीएबल दारुणम इज टेरिबल क्रूएल टेरिबल हां क्रूएल हार्ट ब्रेकिंग सीन um seeing that kind of a heartbreaking scene the uh, maharshi also uh, became uh, sad and cursed the uh, hunter as below uh, in the following manner uh, in the following uh. manner shloka so try to match the sanskrit words when you say the meaning so that i know that you understand which word you are giving the meaning for okay oh, it has and you will... that order not exactly you can do it in whatever order you want but what i'm saying is you will not miss out on any word when you keep on saying those words so ta drish vilokya after seeing drishyam that scene which was hridaya the vidarakam hridaya is heart vidarakam is breaking so heart breaking scene you you translate it correctly but to match it it will it will stay in your mind also much better Ah, word That's by word meaning also we have to put. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, mm. not the overall meaning, but word by word meaning. It will help. That's why it will help when you start doing anvayas for uh, shloka and uh, trying to understand that. Hmm. Um, Shobha, do you want to go? Ha. Maybe. I'll... Yeah. Ah, oh, asta. Manisha the pratistham tvamagama shashvati samaha. यत्क्रौंच मिथुनादेकमवधी काम मोहित मषाद प्रतिष्ठागम शाश्वती सौंच मिथुनाद काम मोहित 
हे निषाद मा ओके अत्र निषाद इति संबोधनं अस्ति शाश्वती समाह त्वम प्रतिष्ठां मा अगमः फॉर लाइक फॉर इटर्नल टाइम और लॉन्ग इयर्स समाह इति समाह संवत्सरः संवत्सरः Hmm. So for long, Shashwati hi samaha in an established way for long time, hmm. Tvam Pratishtham Ma Agamaha, you will not live. Pratishtha is uh, b, b, in a well-founded manner. Hmm. Right? You will not Mangala be established uh, uh. Uh, for long time. Huh. Yet Kraunca Mituna Dekam, uh, Kraunca Mituna Dekam. Uh, Yet uh, one... Yasmat, Yasmat uh. Karanat. मिथुनाथ Killed one of them. Avadihi ti lunglakare. Yes, lunglakare madhyamapurusha. Correct. Tatra agamaha ikyapi lunglakare madhyamapurusha ikavachanam. Correct. Agamaha. Yes. But this also becomes a mangala rupam and it becomes the mula shlokam for Ramayana. He hmm. actually interprets it in a different way and says, Yatu kraunca mithunatu ekam, kama mohitam kraunca mithunatu ekam avadihi, e, kama mohitam ekam avadihi. Because you had killed from the pair, that is Ravana and Kumbhakarna, you had killed one of the bird, which was kama mohitam, which is Ravana, who was kamena mohitaha asit, sitam prati. he was uh, very lustful towards sita because you had killed one of them tvam he ma nishad ma yaha nishad ma yatra nishidati ma iti lakshmi hi so where lakshmi resides tadrishah tvam vishnu he vishnu ma nishad iti you take this as one word here and don't separate it Ma Nishada, the one who is the residing place of Lakshmi. He Vishnu, Tvam Shashwati hi samaha pratishtam agamaha. You will always live well with a great foundation. Adhara Bhutataya sarvada tvam chiram jeeva. It is Ashirvada Rupena api yetach payam shloka ha Mangala Rupena bhagati. So this becomes the Mangala shlokam for Ramayana. Mm. Yeah, that's because in the palm leaves and all they won't put the space in between the words right When not necessary write? no no they, they it depends on how they write it sometimes they don't in some cases they do give a lot of space but uh, in many cases they don't this also it could have been one of the uh, this thing that for slesha you do it like this sometimes to give the meaning but, but ramayana is the adikavyam so that time um, they they would not have put all the space and all right maybe maybe that's all but isn't good. this isn't this uh, verse regarded as the very first for kind yes. of uh, uh, shloka meter formulated or shloka in sanskrit itself yeah yes it is the it is the first thing that came out in the form of a chandas meter mm. uh, uh, apart from the vedic meters so this became the first shloka of the classical meter which we called the shloka meter or the anushtup chandas right mm. so this became the first uh, shloka in the world because it came means- as an outpouring from him mm. that means anushtup is not a vedic meter so anushtup chandas is a vedic meter shloka is a type of uh, uh, this thing so everything has come Chandra from that jagat not, okay 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 huh? 
this shloka is not a vedic uh, chanda uh, as a representation so when you start looking at it in matra basis or vrittam basis then there are rules to it and uh, then it uh, uh, it comes into the classical age otherwise in vedic there is separate different types of meters in the vedic there is also a chandas there chanda shastram started for, as a vedanga uh, to explain the meters in the vedas but this was the first classical meter that came out so uh, is anushtup a vedic meter or not i the think jati the jati possibly there is because eight syllable syllabic meter should be there in veda ha huh. yeah i think so even rudram is in anushtup only right mm, yeah so i think it is a vedic meter only like anushtu trishtu gayatri brihati all those but Kari, this ga- is the shloka rupena gayatri is the meter not anushtu that's what in different meters like trishtu brihati all those meters anushtu is also one in the vedic ah uh, uh, yeah gayatri is three lines with the eight 24. syllable 24 whereas this is 32 anushtub is 32 four lines all of these are there but uh, once it comes to this classical part even if it follows the vedic meter it doesn't have it has a different kind of representation the way it is in vedas it doesn't follow the follow the sandhi and all that whereas here you will have to follow sandhis like this there you don't need to you can keep it separately also the mm-hmm. the sandhi rules the vedic uh, rules are all very different there panini rules uh, they are separate for the vedas it is separate for the classical literature so here you follow certain different rules <coughs> this is the it basis means that the shloka in the uh, laukika samskritam that uh, fifth letter uh, guru ah. uh, lag- that Shastam kind guru. of uh, rule is not there for vedic meter maybe but- i am not sure Mm. I don't uh-huh. know. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think it must be because the uh, modulation in chanting is out of that, isn't it? No. No, not out it's of the varita, meter. Huh? Varita, udatta, anudatta. That is the yeah. Matra chanting. Mm-hmm. Correct. Swarita, so, the, the those are the things that determine the uh, intonations. but uh, uh, whether they have to have these uh, particular uh, shashtam guru laghu and all that i am not sure how it goes in uh, vedic meters they go by ganas probably mm. uh, more than these i am not sure no idea if i remember right this another interpretation of this shloka right that the nishada is ravana and the kraunchya is rama and sita so he who oh. yeah i remember vaguely re- reading somewhere you know people write so uh-huh. many things yeah so, yeah that they do but here usually kruncha iti uh, ravanasya matuhu uh, nama ityapi asti so they say that ravana and kumbakarna is kruncha ya ha putrau iti kraunchau iti so ha i oh, have not heard this word find where it was and i will send it because yeah. i remember so here crown chamituna is ravana and kumbakarna in them mm. one of them oh. yes among so them not ravana one and mandodari okay no no so one who was tasya tu kamah was not at the right place right so kama mohitam ekam avadhihi iti Mm-hmm. you killed the one who had a lustful behavior oh. towards sita that's why you killed hence you will live for a long time mm. Mm. we can read further and ah. we'll see ah. that mm. explanation is there he nishada ma tvam chiram jeeva uh, uh, o oh hunter uh, you don't live uh, long chiram jeeva mm. yatah because kama mohitam krauncha pakshinam hatavanasi you have killed um, a, a krauncha bird which was uh, engaged uh, in love uh? ha see hatavan asi hatavan asi hi hatavan bhavishyasi it can come in all three uh, lakaras 
Hatamaan is not a generalized uh, uh, past tense, mostly. Mm. So here you have you are a person who have killed mm. one of the birds. Haan, asi iti latla ka raha hai. Correct. Haan. Asta. Hmm. व्यादह तेन शापेन विगता सुहु भूमौ पपाता द हंटर बाय हिज कर्स विगत विगत विगता हा असुहु आ विगता हा असवा हा यस्मात सह हैविंग लॉस्ट हिज लाइफ विगता करेक्ट फेल ऑन द ग्राउंड फेल फेल ऑन द ग्राउंड भूमौ पपाता नद्याम स्नानादिकम कृत्वा आश्रम प्रत्यागत वाल्मीकि स्वुखा निर्गता गिर पर्यालोचयन आस्त इन दिन दिवर हैविंग टेकन बाथ एंड टेकन बाथ निर्गता उट or coming towards the ashramam that which came out and returning okay ah uh, prati is always towards or mm. returning from Return. wherever you go you are returning to the ashramam nir means getting out deshate nirgatah he got katha vallaryam apashyama we saw that right in adenna tyagah nirgatah um सत्यम निर्गतः इत्यादि का हाँ सो निर्गतः इस गोइंग आउट बाहर गतः है इति सो द गी ही गी ही गिराऊ गिरा हा गिरम गिराऊ गिरा हा दिस इस द्वितीय अभिभक्ति एक वचनम सो द वर्ड्स दैट केम आउट ऑफ हिस ओन माउथ ही स्टार्टेड एनालाइजिंग दोस सो इफ आई एम सेइंग आई एम आई एम रिटर्न फ्रॉम � समुद्रे पतिश्य न जाने who knows you can just go out of bharat desham you can fall into the sea or go into another country that is not mm-hmm. the pratyagata ityute i was somewhere residing earlier now i have returned from another place return to location yeah ha ah, adu mm-hmm. correct aasta iti langlakara aasta langlakara right mm-hmm. we saw uh, aasta is महर्षे शोक श्लोक ग Uh, his uh, sadness uh, uh, became uh, the sh- uh, it got uh, the, form the form of a shloka so the the shokam that was there in his mind this is actually taken from dhanya loka shoka ha shlokatva magata ha iti ayameva shloka ha loke praprathamam chando baddha prakashita ha this uh, verse shloka Uh, uh is uh, uh is uh, known as the first uh, 
in the world with the meter ah uh, so i think the first which was bound by meter chando baddha prakashitah mm. itte mm. atra tu nirmitah uh, iti this was mm. the first shloka that was created and so it is called the adi shlokah whereas vedanam tu apaurusheyatvam nobody created nobody wrote those verses they, mm-hmm. they were mantra drashtah drashtarah so they just saw the mantras and wrote it as it was mm-hmm. nobody tried to construct a shloka until then it was valmiki whose who whose spontaneous outburst became uh, uh, came out in the form of a shloka with the chandas and everything mm-hmm. so it was more like a construction that was mm-hmm. done so the, the prakashitah is not like a published uh, no oh, prakashitah it, it is uh, it, it was revealed revealed it was later because he was analyzing it he realized that the, the words that came out were in the form of a chandobaddah prakashitah it had it was revealed or it came out it was manifested uh, uh, in the world as something it, which was bound by meter in this context can it be said it was recognized by him as bound by meter right mm. so, okay la? it was yeah, yeah. challa yeah. so vedasa revelation chaliya huh? vedas we can say as revelations because it was not written by anyone they were revelations yes. yeah tadanantaram okay. valmikihi brahmanah agna manusrutya shrimad ramayanam virachayat uh, afterwards uh, valmiki uh, uh, following the order of brahma uh, he uh, create he wrote uh, shrimad ramayana vyarachayat mm. he created mm. so vyarachayat ah uh, vyarachit mm. vi upasarga uh, arachayat uh, iti langlakar langlakar okay yeah valmiki reva adikavihi valmiki is uh, uh, the first poet okay. valmiki reva mm. emphasis ha tadiyam ramayana meva ಆದಿಕಾವ್ಯಂ ತಸ್ಯಂ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ತದೀಯಂ ಹಿಸ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾವ್ಯ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾವ್ಯಂ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕೀಯಂ ರಾಮಾಯಣಮೇವ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ತದೀಯಂ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಲೇಟರ್ ದೇವರ್ ಆಲ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಇಸ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ರಾಮಾಯಣಸ್ಯ ಮಾನಿಷಾದೇತ್ಯಯಮೇವ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಮಾನಿಷಾದ ಇತಿ ಅಯಮೇವ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾನಿಷಾ ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೋ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾನಿಷಾದ ಇತಿ ಅಯಮೇವ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ರಾಮಾಯಣಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಜಾತ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೂಲ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬೀಜಂ ಫಾರ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಅನೇನ ಏವ ಅನೇನ ಇವ ಶ್ಲೋಕೇನ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರಿಯ ಪತಿ ರಾಮಾವತಾರೆ ಪುಣ್ಯಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರಿಯ ಪತಿ ಶ್ರಿಯ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಪತಿ ರಾಮಾಪತಿ ರಾಮಾವತಾರೆ ಇನ್ ರಾಮಾವತಾರ ಪುಣ್ಯಶ್ಲೋಕ್ಯಾತ ಹಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಸಹ ಪುಣ್ಯಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತ ಶ್ಲೋಕ್ಯತೆ ಸಹ ಇತಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ಡ್ವೆಲ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಫೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಹಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸೇಕ್ರೆಡ್ ಫೇಮ್ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇತಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತ ಅತ್ರ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಶ್ಚನ ಪುರುಷ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ಡ್ 
इथे वी कॅन फॉर्म इट लाईक दॅट ऑल्सो और श्लोक ये अम दॅट्स हाऊ इट इज बीन फॉर्म्ड इन अदर इन भागवतम मेन ऑल वी हॅव पुण्यश्रवा इत्यादी सो श्लोक पुण्य असौ श्लोक च इज बेटर पुण्यश्लोक कर्मधारे परंतु तमावतारे पुण्यश्लोक विख्यात किल श्रियपती पुण्यश्लोक श्लोक भगवान करेक्ट सॉरी टेक श्लोक एज यश दट विच इज praised is the fame so shlokah becomes the yashaskirti ha oh. namo hmm okay punya charitra ha ta ha punyam charitram yasya saha punya charitra ha hmm. vyadhe vyadhe abhishamsana roopoyam shlokah shri rame mangala shasana roopa samabhavat ah hmm. uh, vyadhe uh, in the uh, abhi, hunter uh, in, in the this hunter, shloka uh, was a shapakars uh, abhishamsana hmm. curse right K- yeah it is in the form of a form curse, of a curse. the shloka form. which was a form of a curse in the hunter or with respect to the hunter vyadhasya vishaye iti vishaye saptami atra vyadhasya vishaye shaparupah ayam shloka ha rama vishaye tu kidrsho bhavat वाल्मीके कविता श्लेष सौंदर्येण ध्वनि वैभव समुलसिता अस्त समुलसिता अस्त संपत् व्यंग्यार्थस्य संपत्या च समुल्लसिता इट इज शाइन्स विद द द ब्यूटी ऑफ सजेशन एंड द द ब्यूटी ऑफ श्लेष एंड द वेल्थ ऑफ सजेशन दैट इज देयर फ्रॉम द श्लोक हम्म ओके द सेकंड मीनिंग दैट यू गेव सॉरी मदर टू बगिन रिटन बै भोज there is one shloka called apagam apagam eva the same situation where valmiki goes to the river tamasa he reached tamasa apagam illalla i think it is about ganga so when rama and vishwamitra reach ganga i think apagam apagam eva ityasti tatra so apagam eva that word you take four different meanings i i usually put one chart for my students and send that chart later so mm. it apaga means bharati uh, uh, that is saraswati it means river ganga apaga uh, gam iva gam iti ha ah, gam iti saraswati gam prithivi uh, iva iti or uh, um, pashumad that is uh, kamadhenu eva uh, ityadikam so you have some four different meanings for that oh. slesha so each word slesha will apply ah uh, no each each word each visheshana will apply differently you will uh, do the meaning differently when it applies to bharati when it applies to uh, prithvi or gihi or saras vani ityadikam hmm. 
so we will stop with this we'll do this last shloka and the exercises and all in the mm-hmm. next class okay mm-hmm. yeah oh thursday class bhavati va um